What's up everybody, Army with Gaming here and today I'm going to be bringing you a new mage video. This one's going to be primarily pure mage, it's going to be level 151. We're going to go over the stats first, stats starting off with it being a level 151. I want to stop at level 150 but I needed a little bit of dexterity to be able to at least wield my dagger in my second hand. We're going to be running 45 vigor, 26 mind, 40 endurance, 12 dexterity. 80 intelligence because the 80 intelligence build the spells we're going to be running is going to be star shower because it puts good pressure in the beginning you can rush in with the carrion slicer jump in with the swift shard it's really fast it hits hard if they push you obviously carry him piercer to be able to push him back and if they are just spamming you got that spell Oh, uh, the staffs that I'm using is going to be the stats glintstone staff plus 10, carrying glintstone staff plus 24 because I decided not to use an ancient dragon smithing stone on it. I'm going to be using a magic misery cord with the glintstone pebble due to the fact that it barely takes any FP and it does substantial damage. My setup is going to be the perceptor's big hat because since my mind is below 30, I want to be able to get my mind up a little bit so that really does help. Um, for my for my armor set it's going to be veterans armor because obviously I'm going to be rushing in with this build. Uh, the goal is to try to keep as much pressure as you can up until you run out of FP. Um, so definitely make sure you finish the battle as quickly as you can. I'm running a graven mass talisman uh, for that potency to sorcery's attack power. Godfrey icon for my carry and piercer and uh, some of my other charge spells. Urtree's favor plus two and the Rodicon icon to be able to push out the spell faster. I would recommend if you're not going to run loose stats, Clint Stone Staff, and you want the build to be even more effective and faster, but it will be um, slightly weaker, I would recommend your Azores Clint Stone Staff, um, because that will push out your spells faster, and then you can replace this talisman and put together the Graven School Talisman to make up for that damage loss for when you take a loose stats staff. Now, personally, I like the loose stats Clint Stone Staff because it does push out some serious damage with its sorcery scaling of 413. If you look to the right right side of the screen where attack power is. Um, that is pretty much the build. Literally, that's the entire build. I mean, I can't explain anything else further than that other than that's how I run it. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. And leave a like and subscribe to the content. And let me know what you think. Let's get straight to the videos.
Alright dudes everybody, that's gonna be pretty much the entire video and the build put together. I did forget to mention in the beginning of the video I also switched between the spell blade armor for my glintstool sorcery on my staff, but I figure I'd mention that now in the outro video. Um, if you really like the content, please leave a like and subscribe, or you can follow my Twitch in the description below. Um, that would really help me out because I'm usually trying to produce content and everything. Until then, you guys have a good day. Army Wolf Gaming out. Have a good one.